Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. If you're new to the channel, would like to welcome you if it's your first time, of course. And also, big welcome back to all our regular subscribers, because it's thanks to you that I continuously want to upload awesome content to the VR Essentials YouTube channel. And by the way, guys, just a little reminder, in the description below that we are doing an awesome giveaway where one of you lucky devils will get to win potentially a brand new HP Reverb G2. Whew. That's right, you heard me correctly. And also Second Order will potentially win a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber carpet, the chair and everything that goes with it. And a third winner will get to win a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any of your favorite VR titles, whether it's on the Oculus Meta Quest store, Viveport or the Steam VR store. So do make sure you're part of the notification squad after you subscribe so you could be notified potentially as the winner. That's right, all right. Today we're talking about big screen and the update of the classroom. As you know, big screen is used widely amongst a lot of us to watch our favorite movies inside of the virtual reality. We did a really cool video not too long ago, a couple months ago, about the release of the Matrix and watching it inside of big screen because it actually offers much better sensation than watching it on your plasma screen or you know, your phone is just not the same whatsoever, especially with COVID and everything. Many of us are not going to the cinema. So it's the best way to feel like you're inside of the cinema, of course. Whew. Let's dive into VR right away. All right, so we're inside of big screen with a new hands in Steam VR. First of all, because I haven't actually played it on the laptop before, today is the first time. So we're doing this together. I'm just gonna go to the video settings very quickly. Uh, and then basically look for a big screen, which is here. Normally speaking, because this kind of app doesn't require too much graphical power, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm just going to close it. I'm just going to go here, go to graphics, make sure that it's disabled. We don't need to have motion uh, reprojection on for this. There we go. And then let's launch a big screen. I'll see you there. Now, the other thing is, is my ground is pretty high because I'm actually sitting down at the moment. Uh, and if you've never tried big screen before, you'll see you'll be greeted by some, you know, some stuff. So I'm just going to go and skip for the moment. Your audio devices have changed. Update big screen audio settings or continue. So I'm just going to go to continue for now because I can hear everything I need to hear. And then basically, uh, you will be greeted by this panel and a whole bunch of different things. If you host a room, will be here. You can also control stuff from your actual computer. So let me just bring it up, for example. And then we click on desktop here. And then you'll see on my desktop, we can actually switch to desktop menu and then control everything from the desktop. So if you want to create any events or you want to have someone else to control things for you, they can do that. But we're going to control everything from here first. Um, and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop from here. Just make sure the settings are OK. Uh, stream this screen. OK. 720p. Yes. Uh, you could put it to 1080 but 720 is perfectly okay. We can install the driver as well. And then we're going to put it back on 720. Here we go. Um, now we don't have the driver to stream the audio. So we need to go to install driver. And then install the big screen audio driver to enable desktop. Yes. Okay. And then now my computer is asking me to do something. So I need to go back to the computer in order to uh, finish the setup. And then you can also change the bit rate here. So Again, you can change if you want it more or you want it less, of course. Uh, we're just going to leave it on three for now as per the recommendation. There we go. Uh, and then I've already installed the driver. So normally we should be able to hear the sound coming from the audio up there. Um, OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to environments. And let's just check this new classroom now. Just before we check the classroom, just to let you know, um, of course, if I was to move this out of the way now, this is the home that you get when you first go into big screen. It is pretty amazing, I have to admit. And then the other thing is uh, with big screen, uh, you do have the choice, the ability to actually manage your actual computer from here as well, like a virtual desktop. So for example, I can click on this. There we go, bring it up. I'm gonna go here, yes. So by the way, if you want to have your keyboard, all you have to do is go into your tools and toys. 
and then just bring up a keyboard like so then we can close this are you sure you want to quit big screen no i don't want to quit just want to minimize and then basically what we can do is go up here for example and then you can if you press on the backspace it will basically act as your keyboard and then what we can do is we can just bring it up a little bit there we go and we can type youtube youtube Oop. youtube there we go and it will be the first one there enter there we go so we go to youtube and then we're going to go to um, my channel there we go now at the moment we can't actually hear the sound so we just go to settings and then we go to audio and then playback devices and this will be the one here but we can try and see if this works no so it should be this one and then we also need to make sure that on the computer uh, we have the right driver selected as well so we go into the computer go into our audio drivers and then we want to have the big screen audio driver like so all the various different things that they have done on the version 2 there we go but this looks like it's a spacer of some kind to give more space so perhaps it's meant for people who wear glasses Boom. or maybe because normally on the oculus quest a spacer is used for those who wear glasses so it's very possible i'm not quite sure but because i want the best fov as possible and i have lens adapters by the way although i did not put them inside of the vr headset just yet so, so there you go guys that's how you can get the sound by installing the driver like so uh, and basically now what we can do now of course the bitrate and I'm running everything from the Wi-Fi so there is some lagging on the video but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and check out these new rooms so we go to environments now normally what people would use would be for example this room here let me just close this let me just close that let me minimize it because it looks a bit big there we go so normally this would be your classic room that a lot of people use to watch movies to feel like they're exactly in a real theater which is pretty awesome now if you want more details about all the various different rooms and all these kind of stuff uh, you can go to the vr essentials channel go to to videos uh, and if you scroll you will see that basically um, there are various different videos that we've done with big screen in the past two or three of them so you can go and find them there uh, so I'm not going to go through all the rooms today today we're just going to go through the classroom one which is this one so this is the new room that they have so let's go inside I've never seen it this will be the very first time with you guys all right let me close it down oh wow that's a big screen <laughs> not no pun intended guys by the way but yeah this is the first classroom by big screen itself now classrooms are very popular inside of VR chat and also very popular inside of old space of course a lot of people have done classrooms so I'm not unfamiliar to classroom spaces but it is the first time that we get to see it inside of big screen itself so not too bad just giving you a little tour it looks very Japanesey to me, a bit like a manga cartoon. Not bad. And then, of course, we can change space. So this would be really good fun for kids and uh, educational purposes. If you have teachers from another part of the world, of course, they can come into big screen. And then all the various different students that will all be here could be from all over the world coming into the one classroom. And then together, the teacher could give a lesson. Uh, but, of course, the lesson... I mean they could do like a virtual lesson so they record themselves and then boom they plug themselves in on the actual screen so you'll see the real person there or they could be sitting for example uh, you know at the top there maybe I don't think you can be in front no it doesn't look like you can be in front so you could be like this and then talk to everybody like so and then you could basically control your 
video, whichever video you want to watch or whatever program you want to open because of course you don't have to only watch videos per se. You could for example go inside of here and you know just basically you know bring up an image if you wanted to talk about an image for example Mobile Royale uh, you know did a really cool image during the Valentine's so you know you could talk about different stuff that you want to talk about it doesn't really matter in that respect so let's just go back here there you go and then I'll just close all these you can basically manage your your computer completely remotely it doesn't matter I do like the little animation over there it's very nice this little it's not very distracting it's very relaxing little poster here very Japanesey very manga y and yeah it do does make me feel personally like I am in a classroom again uh, the only thing I would say is that there are some jagged edges uh, especially here there are some jagged edges not not on the floor sorry here on the actual on the actual bookcase um, so graphically and also jacket edges around the actual paper so I'm not sure whether they can fix that uh, just to make it a little bit less jaggedy because there are also jacket edges here on the actual table edges as well I'm not quite sure if you can see them and also on the edges of the chair so let's see if we can actually fix these jagged edges very quickly. Let me just bring up the uh, settings. There we go. Uh, let's go to graphic quality and the aliasing. Let's put it on. There we go. Super sampling. Now, just by turning it on, let's see the differences already. It is better, but not by much, though, I have to admit. So let me just go back. If you have a good PC, of course, um, then, you know, it might help. Still... Let me go here. Still have the jagged edges, I have to admit. It is a little bit better, but let me just test and see. It doesn't look like it's super massively better, to be honest with you. Very high, too. Yeah, it's somewhat better, but it's not exactly life-changing better. I can still see the jagged edges. Um, on the actual corners over there up here and also I mean it is better don't get me wrong but it's I can still see the jacket edges here I think up close it's much better uh, but further away it's not super much better so I think closer up it does make a difference but anything that is mid or further back over there it doesn't really make that much difference however there are no jacket edges on the actual screen the screen itself is perfectly fine no issues over there and do remember that I am using the G book um, sorry the Z book G7 Fury by HP at the moment so I'm using the laptop not my desktop uh, do make sure you hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be doing comparison videos you know comparing it between my desktop and also my laptop in terms of graphics and all these kind of things but I must admit that I'm very comfortable in here very cool very awesome to be here just good stuff nice job big screen really awesome and of course there are tons of other rooms that you can go and check out there's also the grand cinema uh, which is the one I think we went to at the very beginning I mean look it is really really awesome in here uh, you can plug in any file you want or you can go directly to the uh, watch and in the watch section you can pick specific rooms where they have content a bit like Netflix and basically you can go and watch with other people and you can also of course create your own rooms host your own rooms where you can invite people from all over the world to come into the room with you so that is really awesome but as I mentioned before please go and check out the other videos about big screen all right let me give you my final thoughts now the amazing thing about big screen guys as I mentioned before and do go and catch those other videos that I did post to the channel is you can have popcorn you can throw tomatoes to people you can chat to people you can make new friends it's not just used specifically to watch movies you can also give seminars you can give educational talks you can do so many different things you can do workshops oh man the it's really up to imagination as to how you want to use big screen and there are a lot of different tools 
to make sure you can moderate all your ver various different rooms, excuse me. So if there's anyone that goes in there and causes any mischief, you can kick them, you can ban them, you can mute them, you can do whatever it is that you want. You can also draw inside and a whole bunch of other things, but do go and check out all those other videos. Now guys, let's get back to you. Let's go and read some of the comments that you posted on previous videos. So let's just very quickly transition and go over to the VR Essentials YouTube channel to the G2 Omnicep. <laughs> Plenty of videos coming about the Omnicep soon, guys. So do make sure you also enable your bell after you subscribe. Not just because we are doing a awesome giveaway, just a quick, very reminder, very quick reminder, sorry, uh, where you can win potentially a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes at the Simon Gaming Station, and also a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any of your favorite VR titles. Link in the description below, go and check that out after this video is completely free to enter and it is sponsored by HP and sponsored by Cyber Shoes. So it won't be us who will send you the products, it will be them. All right, let's read your comments, guys, about the Omnicept. Plenty more videos coming for Omnicept, by the way, guys. So congrats, VR Essentials. Let me just make it a little bit bigger so you can read your name. Dragonfriend915, congrats, VR Essentials on getting to 10K subscribers. And when the giveaway happens, it'll be awesome. Thank you very much for your comment. Maderick says, I'm thinking buying the HP Reverb G2, but what should I take? Is Omnicept newer version of G2? Yes, it is. However, I think at the moment, unless you need all the sensors and everything, no need to get the Omnicept, just get the normal HP Reverb G2. Um, Pro Hat Action says, love it, awesome. Thank you very much for your comments. Tomo Prime says, so download that SDK and keep developing some content to showcase its features, LOL. Yes, you're completely right. More, as I mentioned, content coming about the Omnicept very soon. DDW65 says, woo, not standalone. No, it is PC VR. However, you can use the ZBook G7 Fury or G8 or another, uh, of course, uh, HP product that is compatible. Uh, to have more mobility. Let's go to the new skiing demo Today, video that I did last week. See if you guys posted any comments. Where Spozo says, happy to subscribe. Hopefully you can review Vox Machina on Native Quest 2 when it drops. Unfortunately, we don't carry the Quest or any meta products on this channel, as you guys know, simply because we do not believe in the mission statement and business strategy in terms of what they use, how they use the data, mining people, and how use the, they actually use the data. So we do not carry any MetaQuest, uh, you know, MetaQuest products on this channel. So sorry, we won't be able to do any apps specifically for Quest. However, uh, we can do it if it drops on PC VR. And then let's go to VR Party 2022. That was a very fun video to do. Uh, Snakat, Snakataka says, nice stream mate. Thank you very much. And Nestral uh, says, why are most VR headsets all shaky? Most are not shaky, it's perfectly fine, but you are right in terms of creating the actual content inside. It doesn't look like there is actually a, you know, way to make it, you know, look straight. It is very true. Okay, so now let's go to our YouTube studio and just welcome some new people to the channel because you guys are freaking awesome. Awesome, so time to welcome some of you guys. We are 10,200, almost 10,300 subscribers, guys. Look at this, check this out. Oh, we passed the 10,300, guys. The giveaway is happening at 11,000 subscribers. So do make sure this is the giveaway for the HP Reverb G2, of course, and also for the uh, Cyber Shoes Gaming Station and the voucher worth 50 US dollars. So do go to the link below description, in the link description below, excuse me, uh, after this video, it's completely free and we will do the giveaway at 11,000 subscribers so it's up to you as to how fast we get there because you are required to reshare some videos all right time to announce some new subscribers to the channel so COO I'd like to welcome VR Jasmine hello VR Jasmine nice to to see you on the channel we're a fan of your channel as well uh, SMDB doggy 83 and also Bushan Budanka welcome to you guys let's go to date subscribe there we go. Let me welcome Cade6, Luis Padron, Joss Expression, Lemmy Babus, KG Brown 247, the new Chinese dude, hello, ni hao, as well as Michael Hicks, Spencer Doyle, and Test My Home Channel, as well as Christian Leonardo, Vergara Marin. Guys, you are super, super, super awesome, as I mentioned. Thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to the channel. It's thanks to you that it is awesome. I do nothing. I just click subscribe, uh, upload, and boom, a video is there. I don't do much. You are the guys who do all the work. You are the guys who are the heroes to the VR Essentials YouTube community. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon. As you know, we've got a new full-time job, so whew, very hectic at the moment. But I do promise, do promise, sorry, as time goes by to upload more content more frequently. All right, guys, take it easy. Ciao. Au revoir. A bientôt. Arigatou gozaimasu. 再见。